Many years after the turn of the century slew of Hunter x Hunter games, the 2011 adaptation of the anime began to air and Wonder Adventure for the PlayStation Portable was released. Upon loading up the game, the player is presented with two options, Story Mode and Shop. The shop allows the player to spend money earned on missions to purchase accessories. These accessories can then be equipped onto playable characters to increase various stats such as defense, health, and attack power. After completing the first story mission of the game, an additional main menu category unlocks called Mission Mode, where the player can enter single or two player side missions to earn further money. The biggest issue with the game becomes evident as soon as the first story mission starts. Due to the PlayStation Portable only having a single analog stick, which moves the playable character around, the manual camera control is relegated to the left and right directional pad buttons above the analog stick. I often found myself trying to use both simultaneously by doing a sort of claw maneuver with my thumb and index finger, which can be quite painful. The automatic movement of the camera attempts to compensate by rotating right or left along with the character movement, which does help considerably at times, but I still found myself annoyed with the camera more often than not. However, this is more a limitation of the hardware rather than a fault with the game itself. I would have no issues with the camera if it were able to be mapped to right and left on a secondary analog stick instead of the directional pad. As for the actual gameplay, characters can jump, dash, attack, use a strong attack, and guard to battle various creatures from the series and move about the game world. Additionally, each playable character has a unique ability which can sometimes be used in fights with enemies or to traverse the environment. For instance, Gon has his signature fishing pole, which can be used to hit enemy creatures or to swim from branches throughout the game, while Kirua can use his skateboard to attack or perform jumps off of ramps located in some of the stages. The game is a combination between puzzle platformer and brawler, where the player is often switching between two characters during missions to use their respective abilities to solve puzzles. While the puzzles do become a bit repetitive and I never found them very difficult, the game does feature boss battles and occasional odd areas such as a running segment, which helps keep the game from feeling too stale. As for the story, it's a well done retelling of the first couple narrative arcs of the series. While the music and voice acting are great, it's unfortunate that a game which coincided with the updated 2011 anime doesn't cover as much of the story as even the 1999 anime did. That being said, it seems like the creators were going for a light-hearted tone when creating this game, which would clash considerably with the thematic elements of the next story segment if the game did move further into the story. Overall, although the camera can be annoying and the difficulty curve is a little sporadic, this is the most fun I've had with a Hunter x Hunter game so far, and it definitely exceeds the PlayStation 2 game in terms of a good action platforming game. Additionally, the language barrier can be easily surpassed through some trial and error in the menus for anyone who doesn't read Japanese. Out of all the Hunter x Hunter imports we've looked at on the channel thus far, this would be my recommendation for someone looking to import a Hunter game, as the language barrier is surmountable and the PlayStation Portable is a region-free system.